What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing that I'm very excited about. This is sort of a yearly ritual now. We have the iPhone 4, the 32 gigabyte black version, ready to be unwrapped. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And for those of you that may be wondering at home, here is the 3GS box next to it. Just a little bit thinner here on the iPhone 4 side. So of course, we will use the big old knife to dig in. Go ahead and cut through the packaging. And the way the box looks is very familiar to uh, older generation iPhones. It's got a picture of the device on the front, Apple logo, Apple logo, iPhone 4, iPhone 4, and then some specs on the back. But enough about the box, it's what's inside that counts. Go ahead and open it up. We've got just a bit of cardboard on top, nothing on the side. And I have not held one of these or seen one, so I'm very excited to sort of see what this looks like. Here is the iPhone 4, and I can tell you it feels very solid in hand. Um, very impressively so, actually. But we'll put that off to the side for just a minute, and we'll dig in and see what else we get. So inside, designed by Apple in California, odds are you can have your fingertips, and I believe the SIM removal tool has SIM removed itself from the packaging. So fingertips, iPhone 4, and a few Apple stickers, for those of you that were wondering. Push that off to the side, and sort of your standard array of accessories. You've got your USB wall charger, USB and sync cord, and headphones look to be the same with the, uh, the inline mic. But enough about that, let's take a look at the iPhone 4 itself, since that is the main attraction of the show here. Go ahead and pull off the plastic, which is sort of a once-time thing. That sort of satisfying whooshing noise. And the thing is very, very thin um, and feels really nice in the hand. So let's sort of go through it real quickly and I'll compare it to some other devices so we can gauge sort of its thickness and thinness. So you've got the same size screen. Uh, it's sort of been the, the standard uh, iPhone thing for a while now. A home button, which feels a bit clickier. Your front facing, uh, I believe that's a VGA camera. There is your speaker and the microphone port, one on the bottom, one on top. On the left hand side, you've got those new volume buttons, sort of are a little bit larger, a bit of a difference and you've got your new profile switcher right at top. There is one of the antenna bands on the left-hand side, and you've got the other antenna band on the right. For those of you guys that might not know, Apple actually integrated the antenna into the stainless steel of the phone, which should help with reception. And speaking of the side of the phone, you've got your micro SIM card right there at the little hole for a paper clip to pop out the micro SIM card. Top, there is the hold and power button, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and that other little hole is that microphone we talked about. And there is one of the seams for those antennas. On the back, we've got a new five megapixel camera and VGA, excuse me, five megapixel camera with uh, LED flash. A little bit about the iPhone 4, and then your 30 pin connector and speaker uh, on the bottom, speaker and another microphone on the bottom. So that is the iPhone 4. Let's do a quick size comparison so you can see how thin or how thick this is versus some other devices you might be interested in. First and foremost, let's compare it to its outgoing cousin. Here is the iPhone 3GS, which now looks downright fat by comparison. Let's put these two on top of each other and you can see the thickness or thinness. Uh, there definitely is a noticeable difference there. This is supposedly the iPhone 4, almost a quarter thinner uh, than the outgoing 3GS. You can definitely see it and feel it. Um, right off the bat, it makes sort of the 3GS feel a bit plasticky and chubby in the hand. Let's go ahead and continue sort of the size tour of some other devices you might be interested in. Here is the much, much larger Evo 4G. It looks like the grandfather or the father here to the children because it's so big, but it is a very thin device. Let me go ahead and show you the thinness of it. You can go ahead and compare and see how it's going to fit in your pocket. So there is the Evo. Uh, next up, we'll compare it in size to the Droid Incredible for Verizon. And uh, pretty similar in size, actually. There's that. Let's sort of stack them. You can see the thickness. So the Droid Incredible is significantly thicker. And uh, finally, the last phone that you guys may be considering is the Nexus One. Now, these are all sort of Android devices. Here is the Nexus One. And a bit thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into the iPhone 4. Certainly, there'll be a ton of coverage coming up today. Tomorrow, the next days, we'll be walking through all the features, doing full reviews and demonstrations. So anything in particular that you want to see of the iPhone 4, be sure to leave your comments. And be sure to check out technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news and to make your own tech sub blog even monetize it and make some bucks or talk to other users in our built-in social network. I am John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video.